Hey loves, Michelle Sims here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I bring to you a brand new series, Racks to Riches. And oh my goodness, I feel so weird saying this. So I do want to say I am coming back slowly but surely, you guys. Thank you so much for all of you that understood that I needed a little bit of a break. And I mean, I'm still technically on a break, but today I really felt the urge to record a video or play sims and i wanted to film it for you all so i'm so excited um and what's better than a simple rags to riches so i do want to make note that i only have two mods installed and that's mc commands and ui cheats i don't have any other mods installed right now and also I am playing in a very basic save file. I am playing, not even a save file, I'm playing in just a regular sim save. So a vanilla save technically. Um, so I'm super excited to see where we go, but I do want you guys to meet Zola. Whoops, I just went all over the place. Also, I've been playing Planet Zoo. So my um, <laughs> mouse skills is a little bit off, but anyway, we do have Zola here and I do wanna tell you guys what Zola goal is. So right now, Zola is starting off here in Evergreen Harbor where she wants to originally make the world a better place. She wants to pretty much build this world up and I'm not talking about just her home and what she contributes to the community here. She wants to actually put places in and upgrade places here in Evergreen Arbor. Arbor. What? Evergreen Harbor. So what do I mean by that? Let me go ahead and dive in and explain. So like over over here we have a building right so she would want to envision something that she could actually build here versus just like upgrading it and it'd be the base game upgrade like no she actually wants to build maybe like a cafe a coffee shop here and then over here maybe a new and improved restaurant but right now we cannot think about those things because obviously we are broke we're broke and we're here in evergreen harbor so we are going to try our hardest to maybe you know get some things going but right now the first thing that she wants to do is level up in gardening which i definitely would love for her to do that it looks like she's over here cussing girl please <laughs> not right now uh, but what we'll do is we'll just go around it, it's gonna be a little bit boring because like i said this is a base game save but i did want to just i want to build my own save so technically this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna have her run over here and friendly introduce to i have no earthly idea uh juniper maybe me and juniper juniper oh my god i am tripping up on my words <laughs> but maybe um her and a juniper will become best friends i don't remember a juniper being in this save so i don't know but we're gonna start off of course slow racks to riches always does um but hopefully we make some money today so i'm gonna have her go ahead and talk to juniper she is so pretty and i promise you guys i've never really seen her oh okay so that makes sense she's doing the hat thing so she's probably from um whatever world that came with the horse ranch pack um let's see let's talk of let's talk to her let's share some pictures with her and give her some small talk um let's see she's probably like girl i do not want to talk to you she's like yeah look at my phone i just moved here uh and i'm trying to make the world a better place she's like uh-huh all right you're trying to make the world a better place she's like yeah she's like it's really toxic here she's like yeah you don't say but we do need to go around and meet people just so we can get our points up uh i don't know besides like making this world a better place i do also want zola to um build her own green house and we're basically going to try to set up a shop in the same area where we're building our house up if that makes sense today our biggest goal is to vote neighborhood action plans or neighborhood changes or whatever it's called and um potentially make some money so we can uh at least get ourselves a tent so we'll see how that goes she's like hey yeah so are y'all in it or not like all y'all in it? it says zola has identified how do you identify something and you haven't even went fishing but anyway she's like yeah uh i i'm i'm planning to make some changes around here and hopefully y'all are in it she's like i'm all in it i'm good oh my god who is who is this everyone is trying to dive in our conversation um who 
is this i think he is i don't know it would probably help if i had my headline effects on but i do not but that's okay let's see so this is he has to be marcel and marcel is from the the world where the high school teens are so hopefully we can you know date somebody but one thing about zola i do want to say is that she is not really interested in having children um uh, so really she's not really focusing on like having kids or anything like that i don't even think she would want to have kids in the future so right now her biggest goal is to like make neighborhood changes um so we have some voting to do it says clean energy production we have that we have a foodie united and um, foodies unite um, free love power conservation rough housing and courage sharing and caring sharing is caring and support the performing arts really out of all of these i think that zola just would vote for um, clean energy production i feel like that's something that she definitely would want to vote for versus you know just the regular smegular of free love that's not really gonna i mean technically it would make a difference in our days if we voted for free love but really we're trying to make a difference in our place and not trying to make this place a greener world so she's definitely more interested in that so she actually wants to oh she wants to become friends with the juniper i feel like that's actually a good idea is she still here yeah let's actually come over here and do some friendly stuff with juniper then let's um affection we can't do that uh let's come over here and just get to know her a little bit maybe and try to kind of get that friendship level going um so yeah also i have a different way of playing now that i've like introduce myself to different games and i just want to play the game you guys y'all are gonna see that that like i'm not really too focused on aesthetics anymore i can care less whether my game is green and purple or whether it's beige and white like i really do not care anymore i just want to find love in the sims game and just play the game as is so you guys won't see me dive too deeply in stories and too deeply in narrating like honestly i'm here to play the game and i want my sims to kind of tell their own stories so that's kind of like what we're gonna focus on she has been angry ever since we've been here um at unnatural environment from green okay let's see our environment is pretty dusty i can say that but we are going to be working on a greener world and i feel like we do need to start diving um in the dumpsters were there dumpsters over here i can't remember if there were dumpsters over here or not um i don't think they were here but here's one back here so let's have her come over here and do some dumpster diving we're gonna dive for some dills um oh and Knox is at our door okay wait let's go ahead and try to talk to Knox and see what he has going on because at this point I feel like you know Knox can be a potential he definitely a potential friend okay let me let me clarify a potential friend I do believe that you know sometimes we'll just see their chemistry I know that I don't have like mods in the game but this is I want to refresh my brain on how the natural game works so instead of like having mods in and things to push sims together i kind of want to just see how things go and then we'll add mods obviously i'm gonna add my mods okay i'm gonna add my mods as we go with this um series but right now i really just want the game to tell me what it wants i really do like if nox really likes her i feel like we can figure that out as we go who is this miss sassy girl walking around here okay like i mean the outfit isn't outfitting but you you go girl <laughs> um she's like hey Knox. uh he's like hey how are you well you just taught us about the eco lifestyle so let's talk about it let's um we are here to make a difference as well i do want her to get a job with Knox. i think he actually has the job that i want her to get and i think it's the job that came with evergreen harbor um i'm going to check it out right now because i want to see what job that is um and i think the rules say that you actually have to have an address before you 
um, get a job. So we do need to at least have a home before we decide to get a job. So that's what we're going to do. But I think it's um, a conservationalist. I think this is the job that I want her to have. Uh, but let me see. It says you've watched every um, nature documentary. I think we'll try to work towards being an environmental manager. But before we do that, I feel like we could do something a little bit more on the simple side because right now we technically don't have what it takes to do that like we need to learn where we are first so what we'll do before we jump into that is we'll become a freelancer and i think it's the whichever one came with eco lifestyle that's the freelancer we will be and we will kind of work our way up there and then we'll figure it out as we go so right now she's over here talking to Knox about the eco lifestyle and i think Knox is kind of like over it like it does it seems like he's like over the conversation he's like oh uh, yeah and yes we are definitely giving him a makeover if things happen between them i feel like we should just give him a makeover anyways but he's just kind of like talking about it's like yeah like no one here is really cares about the world and like nature and things like that and she's like yeah well i kind of do but anyways we do need to go dumpster diving it has decided that it is time to rain which is unfortunate because she doesn't have a home so we kind of need to start working on that um I want to kind of practice like talking to other residents here and listen at me animal crossing has wrecked my brain like the residents of animal crossing is all i say in my head when i'm playing animal crossing so like the residents here and community is important i have learned let me just talk to you guys while she goes and dumpster dive uh, i have learned so much uh, by playing other games that i missed when I started playing Sims. And what I've also realized by playing games on other platforms like the Switch, um, Xbox, and even on PC, but in their natural form, is that um, you don't need mods and CC to make a game fun it's just you have to enjoy the game if that makes any sense at all so like i really feel like lately that's the reason why i lost my love for the sims or lost my love for recording the sims rather because to be honest to be honest i feel like i just i found myself only wanting sims to be aesthetically pleasing not saying that is a bad thing let me reiterate because i do not need to get attacked again for my opinion <laughs> <laughs> but um i i just i hope y'all understand what i'm saying i'm not saying that aesthetics are bad i promise to god i'm not saying that but what i am saying is that i got i me isis miss jolly <laughs> i got so deep into I wanted my game to look this way and if I wasn't happy with how my game looked then I wanted to look this way and if I wasn't happy then I would change it again you know what I'm saying so you never really are satisfied because the way you think about your game is okay I'm only doing this for aesthetics not that I was but I'm saying like aesthetics was a big portion like I wanted my game to look good and when I started playing Animal Crossing and Hogwarts Legacy and all these other games that had their own natural elements and the own like they're a different way of looking it really made me appreciate those games in their natural forms and just playing them I didn't need mods I didn't need CC to have me engaged so I really want to start playing sims like that where everything is just natural like I don't need like okay I'm still gonna do my mods okay and I'm still probably going to add in CC but as far as playing the game like i don't want mods to shape my story like i want my sims to just have that natural feel to them like if they fall in love let it be natural let them start flirting let like not a mod pushing them to do so so yeah i i really have a different way of thinking about the game now and i'm actually super excited uh what in the world you got how did i do that um, did you do that while you would oh okay yeah you did okay so we are filthy you guys i'm sorry i'm like going on a rant kind of like updating you guys in this video as well as i go um but definitely playing so she has got a lot of good stuff i want to say um so we have a tub which is holy moly 
that is a good start okay so we got a tub a bathtub and then okay i'm gonna have her dumpster dive some more i feel like this is literally cheating but one thing another thing that i want her to get into is painting and i feel like when we paint we will definitely like it will help us out in the long run if we do do a lot of painting but our biggest thing is a house and i feel like that right there would get us like a little box i don't know if it will it definitely won't get us a bed or a shower if we get a little box i if we can avoid starting with a tent maybe we just need to start with the tent we might need to start with the tent that way we can get other things um, i'm gonna have her go ahead and die for some more um deals and right now she's not hungry so i'm not gonna have her um i'm not gonna have her die for food or anything like that but i do just want her to just die for some deals like girl please because we are actually doing really good with like what oh my god we got a fridge too like we could use some of this stuff okay but um let's see what else we got so we got a um a, a robot salvage part that's great that's awesome i watched like back then in the day when racks to riches were like it go lifestyle racks to riches were still like a big thing oh my god i watched a video of someone like racks riching it up to a greenhouse and it was so beautiful and i really like i want to build a greenhouse i've been greenhouse obsessed lately especially with this new garden simulator that they got on switch oh my god so i do want her to have like i have a vision she's gonna have a container home and we are going to build our container home we're gonna have a humongous greenhouse y'all I'm, I'm excited i am very very much excited but i'm gonna have her go ahead and continue um finishing up her dumpster diving it looks like we have a friend here maybe so let's go ahead and friendly introduce to her dirty and all and i feel like we could shower in the rain it would probably be embarrassing right now but the fact that we stink i mean and we're homeless and we don't really have much of anything until we sell everything that we have found we just need to go ahead and um you know get ourselves together it's just like hey hey how are you uh, we have a couple of friends all right girl let's go ahead and continue to dive i know i know i know zola i'm so sorry and mind you zola is really really pretty i she was the four sims that i created in my spare time when i wasn't filming and i felt in love with her she's so gorgeous and i love her i hope you guys like her too let me know down in the comments but anyway um so right now she is not feeling the best she has to use the bathroom which is obviously kind of kind of bad but she's not in dire need for a bathroom but she's getting there so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna have her go ahead and go home and then we're gonna sell pretty much all of the stuff that we have and then we're gonna see what we can do i'm hoping that it will get us a house but i'm not really sure i'm not sure how it's gonna work out but hopefully it gets us a house and she is finding a lot of dining chairs she found a delight chair she found um a rustic i think this is a dresser and then we have a dorm single bed which i don't think we're gonna sell that because i mean honestly okay wait girl did we did we get everything okay we got everything let's go ahead and go home then because i was about to say if we are looking up like that we don't need to go anywhere all right so she's gonna go home now she's here i'm gonna pause the game and let's see what all like how much money we have like you guys we did really really good so right now things that we don't need i don't want to sell things that we actually need though but let's see so this is worth 385 750 550 120 400 y'all oh my goodness we did so well we did so well for our first little dumpster dive thingy so what we'll do is i'm going to sell the two biggest items which is the fridge we're gonna sell that and then we're gonna sell the bathtub i think everything else i don't really know because the chairs we're really not gonna get a use out of them what's the second biggest thing this right here yeah i don't think we're gonna get a use out of that we can keep the sink because once we get a counter in our container home we can keep the sink uh let's see so this is a access what is that necessarily before showing it off to a friend or two uh you should check the glue and poo 
on your shoe okay that that's that's too much for me to read let's go ahead and sell that um and we can keep the single bed because at least we will have a single bed for whatever we need so let's go ahead and try to start on our container home i'm gonna look at those containers over there and see if i can um now i don't have a floor plan also i've been messing with terrain and i actually know how to use terrain now which is mind-boggling because if you would have talked to me a couple of months ago and asked me about terrain y'all i've been like uh <laughs> i have no idea so let's see so i do want her to have a container home uh preferably off the ground i'm trying to think about how i would want it but i do know that it doesn't need to be longer than these right here I'm sorry if y'all hear that my chair uh I have a new one and I'm yet to sit in it so I probably need to start sitting in it so you guys won't hear it in the background but let's start probably with a box let's make this a little bit easier on ourselves and so I think this long okay maybe not right there this long a little bit longer so we're kind of like off one two three squares so one two three all right so like right here <gasps> that took our that took a lot of money okay what do I, what do i want to do next um i am having a brain fart why because i literally have been building on planet zoo and nothing is the same in sense <laughs> all right so we have one two three four five all right so i think that this looks uh, I think it looks accurate. I think it looks accurate. Let's see. So uh, I might need to just think about coloring it later because that is definitely going to, um, you know, get us for some good money. As y'all can see, like I cleaned out my folder really, really well. I barely have any CC. Uh, let's go for the, since we are going for like greenery i want a green one like that one over there but i don't think it's in here or is there is there another one am i missing something okay let me see let me check i guess we don't have it in the green swatch i thought we did but apparently we don't uh, so what we'll do is we'll actually have it in a more rustic tone like I love the rustic tones and that was just $72 so now what we're gonna do is I know that we should probably get essential things like I know but right now I'm just I'm, I'm trying I'm trying I'm thinking okay <laughs> brainstorming and thinking so I do want her door to be set over here um, and let's go ahead and try to filter it with eco lifestyle because I'm trying to be very particular and use the ones that we got so we can get a really, really cheap door that is only $50. Let's see how it actually looks with our container home. It actually looks pretty well if we go for maybe like this one. Um, and then we can do our windows on the side or we can be super fancy and get like a sliding door but that is uh 135 dollars which will take us down but we still have like money so i feel like okay that one is too dramatic i feel like if we do this i, I kind of think it works i think it works for us um maybe we can go for i'm trying to think y'all let me see i think we can go for this one let's go for this one right here if they had a green one that would be great but it doesn't really look like they have one maybe mm, let's do this let's do that one and then worry about everything else a little bit later i don't know i feel like the small door went better I don't know okay so for a window because we do want a window in our container home let's see so oh these are really nice windows I barely paid attention like back then when I back then literally a couple weeks ago I barely paid attention to like what the game had to offer so if I'm like ooh, this is nice or ah this is nice that's because it's legit my first time ever like seeing it and wanting to use it <laughs> so like i mean y'all can relate i'm almost certain so 
here's what I want to do. So our goal for our container home, you guys, is I actually want her to, so hear me out. This is my vision for her container home. First off, we obviously have our first container. Our second container is kind of, I don't think we're gonna have a second container. Maybe we will, but I wanted to kind of like make a travel way here. So we're gonna have something on top. And I think eventually I'm going to, I wanna kind of pull this up a little bit uh that looks a little wonky i probably have to work on that after um after i'm done filming but basically what i want is this container home to have like a way over here and then we'll have another container home which will actually be her workshop so another container not a container home but an actual container and it's going to be her workshop on the inside and on the top i want it to be a greenhouse so i kind of want her to have a greenhouse on the top of one of her containers and then on the inside we're going to have her actual workshop where we're going to be doing fizzy drinks and um obviously we're going to need produce for that we're going to do fizzy drinks um whatever the designer thing is i want to do that also i want her to get into a ton of what is it called when you do the um flower flower arranging so i want her to get into that but right now we are pretty basic uh, with our container but i'm very proud of it at least we have one <laughs> um the inside i don't have a magic floor plan in my head right now so we are going to try to do the best we literally can these are some really nice counters but they are 200 so we're gonna have to stick to very simple counters i feel like if we're gonna oh this is why why I'm broke. <laughs> I feel like if we're gonna spend $200 for a counter, like what, I mean $100 for a counter, why not go ahead? Cause we're gonna spend $200 anyway, right? Then it'll be for, never mind. Okay, anyway, we're gonna stick to this. So these are used counters, which I'm okay with right now. We're just trying to get by. Uh, I'm gonna have her go ahead and grab this one and then we're gonna grab probably another one but probably on this side and then it would be grand if we could find like a stove in the dumpster if we do then we could sell this one but until then we're gonna get this used stove now that we have that we can put our sink oh it's so nasty oh okay anyways we can put our sink there and what we will do we can't get too crazy with it but we can go ahead and just put our single bed here that works um let's see probably this there and then at least we have tape at least we got something going on but the biggest thing now is we kind of need all right okay this is what we're gonna do because this isn't gonna work down here and we still got two thousand dollars to spare which i'm very happy about so what i think we can do is kind of have this right here and go ahead and make our second container and only put a bathroom in it so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna make a second container i wasn't going to but since we already need a um since we already kind of need a upstairs for a bathroom anyway we can just go ahead and do that and i do i really really would love to go ahead and kind of like put her some plants around but i know that's very unnecessary so we'll do that once we have the money too so so here's our second container and it looks good but i'm thinking maybe another color i'm thinking we can definitely do another color maybe this one on top instead Ooh, that looks really really nice i love that um and let's go ahead and add our windows so we're just gonna y'all i'm sorry i know y'all are like uh you've played the sims for how long and you're choking on windows <laughs> y'all i'm telling you it's 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 been crazy trying to readjust the stuff so what we're gonna do so here is my thing i don't really know how to do this anymore i don't know how to do this but i assume it would be kind of like so this is this is the start of it i know it's gonna be too much money so let's just start really really small so it will be this right here i'm just gonna show you guys i'm not gonna keep this i'm just gonna show y'all so like it would be here kind of like that but i don't know why it can't um go over so 
oh insufficient funds all right well i'll show you guys later but basically what i was saying because we'll have to have more money for me to actually show you physically but what i was saying is like this right here like this walking area here is going to be see-through so you're going to see through it it's going to be like a long hallway that's clear that you can see through and it's gonna go over to the greenhouse and under it is going to be our workshop and she'll be able to actually climb up like the workshop to get to her greenhouse but sometimes maybe she's upstairs and stuff like that and then obviously we'll have to you know walk over there but i really love the idea let me know if you guys like the idea as well of like having like her little greenhouse over you know at the other place i think these are only meant to go on the side so we're done with that and while we're at it since to have like more space downstairs i'm gonna bring her bed upstairs uh, and we'll just sit that there and then we can actually take this upstairs as well that way we'll have more um we'll have a little bit more space to whoops that went outside we'll have a little bit more space to do stuff now the last thing that we need is a actual bathroom and i was i don't really know where to put a bathroom because okay down here my goal is to have this area right Right here be her living room and then we have this area over here that'll be a little tiny dining room so like just just a little small one nothing serious do we have anything that we're not using this right here okay let's go ahead and sell that we'll have enough money let's at least get ourselves some flooring in here well or whatever it's called let's see what floors oh these are actually really nice how come i never paid attention to the eco lifestyle pack i probably should start paying attention to more uh but brown not really a i don't know i feel like let's see we could do that kind of brown or white oh that's actually really pretty um uh, or this one Eh, i don't like that 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 makes my head hurt i think we could probably get away with a really really cute color that's not overly white but like really nice you know what i'm saying so let's do that and then um another thing is i think i want to add in the whole i'm not really sure but i i'm thinking about adding in the whole like hardship of being on off the grid but i don't know if i want that headache uh then we will go for mm, oh those are nice let's see what we got that matches the floor a little bit too much mm, i think that i think that oh that the flooring and that is just like too much going on for me all right let's get out of the eco lifestyle um let's get out of the whole eco lifestyle thing and see if we got something that will look a little bit like more simplified yes like that uh we could do brown or we could do gray let's do gray i feel like gray is good so we'll do gray and now we are going to piddle with the bathroom i'm kind of doing a little bit of a slow furnish for you guys <laughs> i didn't think i was gonna do a slow furnish i hope you guys are okay with that um i think what we could do next though is we really don't have a money money uh, money what am i saying we really don't have money for a shower are that so maybe we have to take away something um what could we possibly take away i don't know let's see do we, we don't have anything left oh yes we do we have things that are here that we could actually sell so let's sell everything in here and see if it gives us decent money and it does yay okay so that gives us decent money where we can use the bathroom another thing that i'm going to say about rags to riches is that we have to have at least i'll say 200 dollars to actually like get new clothes and more than that to actually change our hair so we actually have uh, some obligations that we have to do before we just like jump in and be like oh i'm gonna do my hair no you're not you you, you got some obligations you got to figure out before you do that um uh, so the next thing i think i want to do is a upstairs bathroom and i know what you're thinking girl we don't have money for all of this i know 
but we we have to have it like it's it's kind of mandatory so what we'll do is we'll have a nice little upstairs bathroom and um let's see what else we're gonna do so we'll we can do that we do need some lights oh my gosh okay let's let's get the main thing first because i keep forgetting and every time like Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting every single time. So we won't be able to uh, get our bathroom like colored. So let's go ahead and just give that up. We need to go ahead and give that up. Unless finally, I want her to have a toilet. What do I, okay. We might have to get rid of the whole wall then like the whole wall and just get ourselves a toilet. It's just us anyways. So what does it matter? It's fine. And we don't have enough money for a shower, which is unfortunate, but I think a toilet is a little bit more important. So I feel like we're good. We got enough money to go ahead and take a shower. We got enough money to, uh, not money, but we got enough to sleep. And actually we got a roof over our head. And I think that's more than we can ask for. Oh my God. It says, Hey Zola, you're notorious that, um, that one of the, um, scrumptious friends has been asking me me about you uh but can i give them your number yes go for it you can surely give uh whoever that is our number but unfortunately we do need to go ahead and maybe take a shower in the rain thank god it's raining right now And I think I'm about to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Rags to Riches, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did recording it. And I will see you guys in the second episode. <laughs> Bye, guys.